Hi, this is Linda. I hope you're having a good day. Now, this is going to be a sensitive subject, and I don't want to offend anyone, but um, it's everywhere, I guess, all over the news. I don't have a TV, but I've seen people posting things that Angelina Jolie had both her breasts removed because she tested positive for this gene. Um, I think it's the BRAC. I forget the name of the gene. But anyway... Oh, that's bullshit. She didn't have her breast removed. Um, it, she's a globalist. And um, and I, I knew this right off the bat. She wouldn't have her breast removed. That, that decision is... They're pushing something else. So I was thinking, well, look what John Harvey Kellogg pushed back in the 1900s, getting boys circumcised the way they are. Because the circumcision that, that most men have today are not the same kind they have in the Bible. And I'm going to leave a link to that. Even though I'm Native American, you're probably saying, how would you know that? Because I read. But I know that John Harvey Kellogg pushed um, also the mutilation of little girls. They put acid on little girls as soon as they were born and they also cut the foreskin off little boys to stop masturbation and he was a big eugenics freak big eugenics freak just the kellogg cereal people so i wouldn't if i were you i wouldn't even buy the products but okay back to this i asked this question why would she come out and do this what is this promoting and would this have something to do with Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act? I mean, they wouldn't cover a test that cost $3,000. And surgery for a woman to have her breast removed, that's very expensive. Um, you know, think about it. But how about, you know, having them reconstructed now? Would they cover that? Well, what I found out is, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, right here. Genetic testing for breast and ovarian cancer now covered by the Affordable Care Act. And this was in 2010. And it goes on and down here to tell you that they not only will cover the test, but they will also make sure that you're, you don't even have a to copay to have your breast removed. Now, it doesn't say anything about reconstruction, I don't believe, but they will remove your breast. And there's also a test to see if you have ovarian cancer and they will re remove your uterus and your ovaries also. If you And it's right there under the Obamacare Act. So, um, and, they, and it says that private insurance companies are required to cover the cost of the test, including co-pays, deductibles, and co-insurance provided <coughs> that the Shoot, I can't even read the sun. The plan does not have a grandfathered status. Okay, and this is in 2010. So, um, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a PSYOP to get women to go do this. Don't fall for it, women. I'm going to leave the links. Also, the way they circumcise men in the Bible, I'm going to leave that link too. And one on John Harvey Kellogg, the eugenics freak. And how this is nothing but um, more genital mutilation. I don't know why they're doing this, except it is a part of their psycho experimentation to see how far it will go. Don't fall for Angelina Jolie having this done. I don't believe it for one moment. I hope you don't too. But you can leave your, you know, your comments below. But I myself think since Obamacare is covering it, it's going to be. Oh, gosh, please don't let it become the norm. Women take responsibility. I have had cancer twice, um, and I've cured my cancer twice. I had a really bad, aggressive form of cancer, and I didn't do the chemo. I did one shot, got too sick, said I'll die on my own terms, um, changed my diet, read books, and didn't go back for a mammogram, thought I would die. That was in 1994. Recently, I found a lump in the same place, had a... It was a low radiation mammogram only on one breast. It looked like the breast cancer. I didn't have a biopsy done. They just assumed it was breast cancer. Came home, juiced myself to where it is now gone. And it's not even been six months, I don't think. So it's gone. So now what I'm saying is she didn't have her breast removed. I think it's a psyop. Um, you guys tell me what you think. And peace and love and everybody have a good day. And let's not fall for this because that's this is disturbing to me and it should be to every woman and to every man. Okay, peace, love, see y'all later.